Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I'm Paul with Stud Pack. A good friend of mine called me up and said, hey Paul, can you go check out a house that I own? I gotta rent it, but the kitchen sink smells terrible and it doesn't even drain. I said, look dude, this is Stud Pack. I don't have time to check out your kitchen sink. So I said, call a plumber. That's exactly what he did. That plumber came over here with his snake, worked on the kitchen sink downstairs for almost an hour. And then his intuition told him, you know what? This is fine down here. Our problem's up on the roof. So he brought his snake up here to this pipe. This is the vent pipe for the kitchen sink. And when he put his snake in there, he could hear it sloshing around water. That's bad. There shouldn't be water in this vent pipe. And he pulled the snake out and it was wet to a depth of over 12 inches. So our goal today is to get the water out and to see what the blockage is. But before we do that, let's head downstairs and show you the setup at the kitchen sink. All right, guys, I'm here in the kitchen. As you can see, a little background on this house. It is a raised foundation. And this wall right here, this used to be an exterior wall. You can plainly see that used to be a window, but they've added on. And this used to be the back door. Now, when we were on the roof the other day, I measured from the pipe to the exterior wall over here, and it's eight feet. Pull the tape off of that wall to here. And so my vent pipe is right here between the old window and the old door. Now, what was kind of throwing me off was typically the vent pipe will come down, hit a T pointed toward the sink and continue straight down to the drain under the house. And that kind of had me confused as to how that thing got blocked. But this one's a little different. Come on up here under the sink and I'll show you what we're talking about. Now, this house is kind of old, cast iron piping. Now, right here, we have a threaded double Y. On the right side, picks up the right sink in the dishwasher. On the left side, picks up the left sink. Pretty easy. And in the middle, there's a clean out. Makes it really easy for the plumbers. In fact, that's what he did. He went right here with his snake. Now, I kind of figured there'd be a 90 in the wall pointed to the right to pick up that waste arm and to go on the drain. But that's not how they did it. There's actually a T in the wall. It's pointed straight down and the outlet is pointed straight up. So the water drains obviously straight down and then the part of the T that's pointing up right here is your vent. It comes up, forms a 90, probably right under that windowsill, and another 90 right here going out through the roof. This is the 90 where it's clogged. So why is a clogged vent so important? Remember when we were kids and maybe you even still do it. You can grab a straw and a glass of liquid, put your thumb over the top, and that's going to stay there. As soon as you pull your thumb off, air can get in and it's gonna drain. The same thing is happening here. When that water drains in the sewer system, it needs to pull air behind it. If it can't pull from the atmosphere through a vent on your roof, it's gonna pull air from the sewer and you're gonna get sewer smells and gurgling from the sink. And those are exactly the symptoms we have here. Now, there are a couple of ways we can fix this problem. We can put an air admittance valve, but I would much rather fix that vent and do it properly. So our first plan of attack was to send this boroscope, which we bought. It's just a camera on a cable. It's got a cool light on it and it is waterproof. So we sent it down the pipe, hoping we could see what was blocking the pipe. The plumber actually told us that squirrels around here will dump pecans or acorns in those pipes and that can clog it up. But we couldn't see anything because the water was so murky. So what we gotta do first is get the water out of the pipe and hopefully this camera will reveal what's blocking the pipe. We got the shop back set up on the roof. Let's head up there and get that water out of the vent pipe. All right, gang, back up here on the roof, almost ready to get to work. But before we do that, we want to show you how deep the water is. So I had this piece of three quarter inch copper tubing. It's about eight feet long. We stuck it in there. So what it's doing, it hit the 90 or it hit the clog. So I'm going to pull it out and we're going to check the water mark on it. Just like checking the fuel gauge in those underground tanks. If you've ever done that. Now look where it is right there. I'd say that's almost 16 inches of water. Definitely. And look at the bottom, how nasty it is. Yeah, big clog. So over here on the vacuum, I've got a couple of adapters to try to get down closer to this size pipe. Check that out. I bought this for some of my tools, but of course it doesn't fit any of them. So I'm glad I hung on to it, but this is still a little big for that pipe. So I brought some electrical tape. We're gonna make a few wraps on the pipe to try to get up to this diameter, put it on there, send it down in the hole and vacuum that water out. There we go. Maybe a few passes to yeah, keep everything together. Definitely. I don't even think this is gonna work. <laughs> oh, because we're pulling it up so high? Right. Yeah. Have you seen those videos of uh, those dudes trying to like suck the straws, seeing how high they can suck? Like just with your mouth. Oh, they yeah. put like a cup at the bottom yeah. of a parking garage. Right, it's only like 12 feet or something. Yeah, but there. if you can suck 12 feet, then I think a vacuum can suck like seven. Let's try it. All right. 
All right, guys, here's our setup. We have the bore scope. <laughs> scope. <laughs> All right, guys, here's our setup. We have the bore scope taped to our pipe so we can monitor the situation as we suck the water out. And then you guys get to go for a ride right down that pipe, too. Right on. Let's turn on the vacuum, see if we can get that water out. <laughs> That was sweet. It was. I think we got the majority of the water out. I thought I saw something like a pecan. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. We need to clean the lens. All right. All right. Clean it, clean it up, and then round two. You want to look in the vacuum, see what we got? Nope, I don't. All right. <laughs> oh, get it on me. Dude, check that out. What is, what are those? Remember what I said downstairs? Pecans? Right. Those are pecans. Wow. It looks like there's at least like two of them down there, but there could be more below just these two. Yeah, I actually see one right under those top two, and there may be one more. Wow. Uh, All right, well, now we know what we're up against. Let's pull it out. That's crazy. Good job, camera. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. Yeah. That plumber knew what he was talking about. Four pecans, at least three, probably more. Right. Well, I have a plan, but uh, I think before I do that, it's a little complicated. I wonder if we could just get a pecan stuck right there with the suction from the vacuum and pull it out like a game from the arcade yeah you're pretty good at that maybe I, you should do it maybe <laughs> uh that's a really long way to like keep a suctioned pecan attached to a pipe yeah that's gonna be hard man and i i don't have much vacuum hose i mean look how high that is yeah we gotta maintain suction the whole time well let's give it a shot and see what happens let's try it the worst that can happen we drop it and we go to plan b <laughs> Oh, man. I saw it. <laughs> oh, man. Now, that, all right. No. Let's try again. Okay. Maybe I need to cut this pipe. It's too long. Well, how are you going to get all the way down there? Well, I can cut a foot off, and that would help me. Nah. All right. Nah. Oh, okay, here we go. So we're so close, we're going to go. Uh. You may have to just pick that up for me, so. Okay. Oh. Hey, you're, oh, sucking, yeah. you're sucking them up, man. They're coming through. I can hear them going through the hose. Oh yeah, listen to that. Woo! It's still coming through. Yeah, there's a lot. I didn't think they'd go through that little copper pipe. What do you turn, think? Turn it, turn the pipe. Let me turn it, there we go. And you gotta go lower. Go lower. Keep turning it, like rotate it 360 if you can. I think you cleared it, man. That would be unbelievable. I think you just sucked it all out. Well, you know what? I took the bag out of the vacuum, so we ought to be able just to pop the lid off and see what we pulled out of there. Oh, you want to do it? Absolutely, right. I can't wait. I was kind of dreading this project, but if it's that easy, whoo. That. Yeah, there they are. There's a, one pecan, and looks like at least three full acorns. Yep, dumb squirrels. All right, that was fantastic. It's a Friday afternoon. I thought this was going to be my typical Friday afternoon plumbing job. We're cutting holes in the walls, but that thing worked great. 
We got one pecan, those acorns through there. We actually brought the garden hose up here. So before we head downstairs, I think what I wanna do, I wanna shoot some water in here to clean out the dirt and the sludge that's collected in that pipe, wash it out. We'll send the boroscope back in there. And if there's no water, we did it. Right, and we can go downstairs, take out that clean out on that double Y. Right, right. And uh, see if we've got some drainage. We can see water coming from the roof through the back of that T. Right, all right. I'm ready. Send some water down right. there, buddy. Oh, you hear that noise? You heard that noise? Was it the... Right, it means it's filling up. Really? Yes. The huh. pitch changes. Yeah, it did change. Okay, so we're not done. We're not done. This is school zone, buddy. All right, let's suck that water out and keep going. All right. All right. Dang. Look at that. All right, let's pull all this tape off. Clean, clean our camera. Yep. Clean it all up, retape it, and see what we got. All right, gang, I think we might have cleared it. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave this setup right here. we got this reducer right there. I'm going to send some water down there with the camera on and see if we can wash it out and see if it's flowing. If it's flowing, we got it. If it's flowing, we get to enjoy a, a long weekend. And an early beer. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, we're underwater, man. We're underwater? Yep. All right. Dang it. Let's just put the vacuum on here, suck it out, and we'll keep trying. so big in the picture but that's nothing so that's a win that's a w that's a big piece let's keep going yep because that that is like over uh a quarter that's like a third of the size of that pipe yep so all you got to do is put three of them down there right let's bring it down here and we'll show them without dropping it maybe even half almost i mean yep. with a little bit of dirt yep crazy might have another clog in the pipe. Well, it's gonna sound weird, but I can feel the edge of the copper like hitting the lip, like maybe of a fitting or something. So maybe we're close to that 90. But that doesn't make sense because there really wouldn't be a lip inside the fitting, right? Who knows? Alrighty guys, we are literally at the end of the rope, or in this case, the end of the pipe. We've bottomed out on my fitting up here and we need to go deeper. This thing's gotta be what, nine feet long? Yeah. So yeah. we're going to run around the corner. There's a great plumbing supply store and get a 10 footer. And hopefully that extra foot gets us what we need. A 20 footer. You think that'll be big enough? I think so. Guess how much this was, gang? 20 feet of three quarter copper. Type, type L. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, we took an L, hundred dollars for this. We did. <laughs> Ready? Alrighty, guys, we're back at the house. We got our twenty-foot piece of copper tubing. Cut it into an eight-footer and a twelve-footer. We're gonna bring the twelve-footer on the roof. That gives us three extra feet over the one we had because it was nine. If we need more than 12 feet, I'm headed home. <laughs> All right, a fresh, clean setup. And a charged battery on the camera. Charged battery, longer pipe. Yeah, 12 foot long, no overhead power lines, right? Nope. That's some over here. <laughs> They're far enough away. Here Let's we do it. go. Oh, yep, there's definitely more down there. Okay. Whatever I'm hitting, it's more solid than anything else. I think we're there. You I, think feel, I feel like I'm hitting the bottom of the 90. You think we just spent $100? To go that much. To go. <laughs> Dude, come here, quick, look. We got one right there. Turn the vacuum back on. Can you get it? <laughs> That's like two of them, man. Yeah. Or three of them. Wow. Here. Let's see if I can get it. Nice. <laughs> All right, guys, we got our camera, cleaned it off, sent it back, and we can see the bottom sweep of the 90. 
but there are acorns in that horizontal branch. Remember when we were in the kitchen and I, and I talked about how that branch went horizontal under that old window? I think they're in there. And of course, if you drop an acorn down this pipe, it's going to hit that 90 and roll in that horizontal piece. How far, we don't know. So our next challenge, now that we got the vertical pipe clear, is get the horizontal pipe clear and we can't see it. And obviously that copper pipe's not going to make the turn. Jordan has an idea, but before we do that, we're going to pressurize this with some water right here from the roof and see if we can blow through it. You ready to give it a shot? Yeah. All right. You want to take bets on if it works or not? Uh, yeah. I'll steak, steak dinner? Yeah, I'll bet the whole channel that it doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. That's going to come flying out of there. Oh, wait. I'm listening. You're lit. Yeah. Is it draining? Look at that. So why are you packing the towel around it? I want a seal around the pipe and the nozzle so the pressure can't come out. I want all that pressure down. At least they haven't come running out of the house saying water's coming out of the walls yet. See that? <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. Nope. All right, Jordan, I owe you a steak dinner, bud. <laughs> All right, gang, this was here. It was under the sink. It's a little toy, but we're gonna try it. Maybe this end will bend just enough and start knocking some of those acorns loose. Vacuum them up, send this down again, keep pecking away at it. It's our only option right now. Yep. I don't know if it went or that's just... Oh, I like the way that felt. Huh. Let's, give, put a little more, let's take a little more cable out. All right, let's pull this guy out and see if we did anything. It's like an enema in an enema. An enema in an, an enema? enema in an enema. So yeah. we're going to send the snake through the pipe. That way we can see what we're doing. Right, on the, on the, on the boroscope. We're at the NASA setup. You can see the spring. It's going yeah, it's much. full on. Roll the kit, roll the footage for you guys. Oh wow! I'm clear. Oh my gosh! There's the other ninety. Feel it. Wow. I think we did it. I, you think we did it? I said <laughs> that before, right? Yeah. Let's pull this out of here. Send some water right down the Okay, hose, okay. We can just do it Let's now. just do it now, dude. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have people in the house telling us that it sounds like we made progress. <laughs> All right, just a little splash, dude, because we want to see it on the camera. We want to so see it on the... How many things in this pipe? Well, that's less than there was, right? Yeah, and you're fully in that 90. All right, man, I think we got it. We're putting quite a bit of water in here and it's draining, but it, it's not draining fast, but it is draining. Yeah. So tell you what, why don't you grab that big crescent wrench, go under the sink and take that clean out out on that double Y and we should be able to see water coming down from the vent through that T. Okay. All right. All right. I am ready for some water. <gasps> yeah, nice, man. Send it full force. Well, I would call that a win. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come up there and show you the footage. Alrighty guys, after reviewing the footage that Jordan took, it looks like we have full water flow out of the back of that tee. So if we have water flowing, that means we have air flowing. So we've got this back open to the atmosphere, stud pack one, squirrels zero. 
big battle, but stud back came out ahead. So I say we uh, clean up right here, take the vac downstairs on the ground and dump it out and just see how many acorns and pecans and whatever else we got out of that pipe. You All right, it? yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. And what's your plan here, buddy? Toss me one of them tie down straps and I'll lower it to you. All right. Touchdown, nice. Cool, man. So the way I was taught, if you stand and do this. Yeah. So that's too steep. Too right? steep? Yeah, so it should be right there. Hmm. So if you do it, since you're a different height, you should be you should be the same thing, right? Yeah. That's the right angle. No way. Yeah. Dude, you know what I just realized? What? You said earlier, don't those dumb squirrels realize they're never going to get those? And now they got them, man. They, they played us. Yeah, come feast. Yeah, maybe it's <laughs> squirrels one, stud pack zero. Oh, man. Now they got a head start for the winter time. For fermented pecans. Oh, I'm going to be sick. How many years do you think that's been that, a problem in that, in that building? I don't know. All right, gang. Before we end this video, there's one more thing we got to do. We got to make sure this never happens again. Good luck, squirrels. Sweet. All right. All right, let's go give that sink a test. All right, gang, we're back inside. On this right-hand sink, we've got about half full of water. Let's pull the stopper, see how well this thing drains. Check it out. That's, that's natural because they're, this one's a lot deeper, right? Right. Maybe we pushed a bunch of the nuts in there. Okay. Is it slipping? Mm -hmm. Come on. Dang it. Is we push some of the acorns in and they're now clogged up under the house somewhere. All right, gang, we plunged it. We got the little toy snake went in through the clean out and I felt it go through something. It's draining, but it's pretty slow. A lot faster than it was. It's certainly a lot better than it was when we got here this morning. Now there's no more gurgling. There's no more odor because we opened up that vent. It's open to the atmosphere now. W. So I think, the, yep, absolutely. Right? Big time, 100%. Yeah. So I think the play now is get the plumber back here and let him run his snake in that drain again, because based on some of the things we found, we think maybe the previous owner was dumping some grease in there. Yep. So let's do that and we'll see how it works. Alrighty guys, that was kind of a roller coaster ride of a project, right? But I think we pulled into the platform with a big W on our backs. The sink is a little bit slow, but we got our job done. That was the vent, clearing the vent, right? Right. We're gonna get the plumber in here with his professional machine, clear that drain out. I think we're gonna be good to go. Tip top shape. Absolutely. Uh, that boroscope, that was invaluable to us. Uh, it gave us eyes where we didn't have eyes and we could actually see what was going on and check our progress. And now I've got 30 feet of Type L copper, three quarter inch. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe we just go into the vent clearing business. I think Made so. us like an investment for pay, a side hustle. For that pipe. That's right. So guys, we appreciate you watching. If you learned something, let us know what it was in, in the comments below. And if you like the video, I think you know what you gotta do. If your like button is not vented properly, you think it's clogged up, now you know how to unclog it, but make sure you put some mesh over it so the squirrels can't get to it again. Smash that like button for us, super appreciate that. Give us your tips and comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next video.